My name is Anissa, and uh, I'm 21, and uh, I'm an artist. I paint, I do it on, on paper first and put it on, on a big surface. I paint things that make me happy. I like showing more eyes for people, make them happy and have joy in their lives. My business is about cookments. See? As a child, she was always sort of wanting to give everything a go that she could. We always struggled with her being able to read and write, but she could draw a picture to tell us. And that was her way of communicating with us. Autism has a big stigma. Like you look at the kids and you wouldn't know any different in some respects, especially as Mel, she has Down syndrome as well. So she's got lots of challenges. I mean, every day that they actually go out, you know, it's a lot harder sensory, emotionally, and it takes a lot for them to keep up with everything in the everyday life. She was asked to paint a picture for Pisaccio Art Studios with the Down Syndrome Society. And they enlarged a image for her onto a board. And she just went for it in the studio and painted it for the day. And since then, my house just became a art studio for her. When she first left school, we did look at the School Leavers Program and looking at options of open employment. But she found a lot of people wouldn't give her the go. I was doing my business from coming up down. I, I got bored. I started painting. So Melissa's been attending our Port Adelaide studio since 2019. Uh, while she's been here, she's worked a lot on her skills in terms of drawing. She's particularly interested in drawing people and different forms that they take as they move. And as part of our program, she's been in multiple group exhibitions and participated in the Adelaide Fringe and Sala festivals. Melissa's very creative. She's got incredible tenacity and drive, and she's very much passionate about what she believes in. And so they are key ingredients for a, a, a young budding entrepreneur to have. The RED program is about helping young adults with disabilities to create and start their own business. So I thought, well, this is an option we haven't thought of before. Let's, in, let's see how that goes and whether that's an option for her. The process was all about getting a bank account get in an ABN, get in a tax file number. So there were all those sort of processes that we worked through at home that year. Her original thought was to design clothes, but obviously that was quite big. So we went at looking at putting her paintings and artwork on the t-shirts. I put from Red is a very cool guy. He helped me to open my own like, website for my business. We've seen her go through the program. She's worked with one of our coaches and mentors and she's been able to diversify a lot of the products and things that she's created. Now we are doing some snow globes and some coffee cups. I knew that Melissa did some art and I had seen some of her robot designs and one day when we were boxing she was talking about that she was wanting to come up with a new design and was a little bit stuck on some ideas and so I just sort of suggested and said I wonder if there was a, a fitness robot that we could look at and about a week later she came back with a little concept of Robbie the robot, power to move robot and um, so we decided that we would collaborate. I like being a businesswoman. I like my job. And sometimes I'm very busy. My hands, I get so sure I do so much painting. Addressing the envelopes, putting them in the postal box, posting them, going to the post office to get more postal bags, going to get the scans done. And she does all that sort of side of it. And the only thing that I'd probably do for her is her invoices and paperwork. <laughs> She has so much on the go all the time. She's in cheer, she's going to national comps this year. She's also going to the Special Olympics this year. She's also being asked to speak at more events. She is a very busy young woman. I like putting my business and I get all the posters up in the whole town. Post some bit on Facebook and TikTok and Instagram. 
Every time I walk into the local ATA and I see a poster up there, I have a smile on my face. It is, it's a really good feeling. Our relationship with Mel is ever evolving and it really is stemming from her and her um, growth of what she wants to do with her business as well. Well, she's now starting to look at actually doing contract work, putting Robot Man onto different businesses and, and entities that she's engaging with. And we're actually gonna be uh, contracting her to be able to do something for us. So we're really excited about that. My power is well cool. We sing together and uh, we're in the band. We are called Cockmans and uh, I'm more to get on by five people can listen to one. He's definitely her little supporter in all of it. I really want Charlie to be able to have his opportunities as he grows older and by seeing his sister having her independence and having her ability to do something that she loves will in turn encourage Charlie to follow his own dreams as he gets older. I have great parents that have always been there for Melissa as well. It's the family support and connection that has got her through. We are very blessed to have the opportunity to engage with people who have a lived experience and see the talent that exists. That talent needs to be out there in our community. They contribute to our business, but we're also helping contribute to um, the skills that they need out there in, in the general world. Be supportive of what your child wants to do. Embrace their dreams and go with it, because you'll be surprised at how much joy they will have in their own lives and be confident in themselves. You've got to start small and build towards it. And I would never have imagined two years ago how far Melissa's come with her business. For a young person with a disability to have the opportunity to set up a micro-enterprise is life-changing. The benefits that, sh that flow through throughout your organisation are, are enormous. What Melissa has shown me and my clients in our business is that disability doesn't mean that you can't actually live a really fulfilling life. Just knowing that she can do something shows someone else that maybe there's some potential for them too. I am very proud of myself and my work, I love it so much.